David Fine here from Keys Moths, guys. When you're raising silk moths, it seems like feeding them is just a never ending job. So, I mean, my polyphemus moths are in their last stage, and I've got to keep borrowing oak leaves. from my neighbor's tree. Good thing oak has no shortage of leaves. But, guys, when they, when they start growing, man, they're just like, they just keep eating and eating and eating. Let's see, come here. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, we're gonna go and open up my container and check out my polyphemus moths and we are going to do a little feeding in fact this much food for 11 caterpillars that's not even a day's worth so but still fun i love feeding these guys here we go guys i'm gonna feed these guys right now all right guys let's get in and see how our polyphemus moth caterpillars are doing it's been Oh, 48 hours or so since I opened up this container. And so let's check them out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do. No dead caterpillars, that's always a good sign. But we do have some condensation in the container, which is not good. So what I always like to do is sort of Take a paper towel, wipe the condensation out. Okay. And then we'll get another paper towel. We'll put the new liner in. So we have a fresh container to work with here. All right, now let's see. He's nice and healthy. And actually kind of looks like he might be pre-molt. Yes, he is pre-molt. He's got one more, one more instar to go. These are only end of final in, or end of fourth instar. Um, oops, that was a little poop there on my finger. But as you can see, pretty big caterpillar already. But Polyphemus is a big moth, and he's got one more to go. You can see, here, watch this, I'm gonna show you. The, the new head capsule is coming in behind that old one. The old, the old head capsule is being pushed off right now, so probably in the next couple hours, this guy right here, is going to shed his skin and become a final instar, fully grown um, polyphemus moth caterpillar, which is really cool. So let's see how the other guys are doing here. Now this one here looks like he's already molted. He's not that big, but you can see that great big head capsule, which means he just molted and now he's gonna start going to town and he's gonna grow. This guy's gonna grow really quick, really fast. We've got another final instar. Look at him, isn't he cute? Isn't he so cute? Let's zoom in on that face of his. The iPhone 13 zoom is not good with macro, guys. Just so you know, just in case you were wondering. All right, so this one here, final instar. Oh, by the way, here's a cool example of the difference between true legs of a caterpillar and pro legs. So these got these legs here that he's holding on to, those are pro legs. And they have all those little suction cup looking little things and little hooks on them. And they're the ones that hold onto the stem 
of the, of the, you know, if you try to pull this guy off, these, these legs are really, really, they hold on really tight and sometimes they'll actually rip. And those are not the actual true legs of the insect. The true legs of the insect are right underneath the head here and are just tucked away underneath. And you can see the six of them. That, those are the true six legs of the insect. So, guys, is that not the face only a mother could love? <laughs> what a cool, cool moth. Look at that thing. Yep, that's why that's the thumbnail. Good. All right, so these guys are looking pretty healthy. Um, we just have this one that's hasn't molted yet. Everybody else, nope, that guy there is still fourth instar. So we've got two, two out of the six in this container that haven't molted yet. The other four have already gone on to final instar status. And so what I'll do for now is I'm gonna put those aside and I'm gonna go into my second container. And see how these guys are doing. I'll bet they're probably around the same. All right, let's see. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, he's gonna molt here soon too. That that head capsule is just about to pop off there. In fact, that's gonna happen any time. And then this guy down here is already molted. So we're almost there, guys. We're almost full grown. Yep, this one's gonna molt still. What a cool caterpillar. Now, this guy does not look so good. And that guy molted already, but man, he's tiny. Okay, so this guy right here is final instar. You can tell by the size of the head capsule. This one that's much bigger is fourth instar and hasn't molted yet. However, it's got this black little blob down here, which is not a good sign. I don't know what the deal is with that. That looks like it could be some kind of virus or something starting. So. I may separate this guy out into a different container. But um, this is kind of interesting. This guy's really, really tiny for a final instar larva. Um, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and... I don't see any dead caterpillars. All right, we changed the leaves on this one. And because we have some caterpillars that are in pre-molt, we really don't want to disturb them because when they're in that pre-molt stage, they are kind of sensitive. So what we're gonna do is, got some new leaves in there, got it nice and fresh, changed out the lining on the bottom, and we're just gonna close this up and give them some privacy for the next day or two, and then we'll check back with them later. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the final stages of the caterpillar for the polyphemus moth. Um, I've got these guys just chowing down. We've got a guy over there, he's about to molt to final instar. We've got a final instar caterpillar right here. These guys are just huge, cuddly, cuddly little caterpillars, guys. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, these guys are super hungry. We're going to continue to bring you more videos on raising the butterflies and moths of South Florida, including the polyphemus moth. And this guy's not done yet. So we're going to show you the final stages of the life cycle, the cocoon, the, and eventually the big, beautiful moth that emerges. Um, uh, in the meantime, I just got to get, stay on top of feeding these guys and keeping their containers full of fresh oak leaves. So, uh, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, we'll get out there and enjoy 
South Florida and find us some cool bugs like these polyphemus moths. Take care, guys. Ciao.